On Inauguration Day, I got the chance to remember why I work for public broadcasting. I went down on the mall, and my job was to do a story for that night's news hour about what people were saying. So it was, uh, I went down there, you know, not up in the little skybox somewhere watching the parade, but down with the people, the freezing cold people. And I went around with my microphone and my cameraman asking that most prescient and penetrating of journalistic questions. So how do you feel? <laughs> this was one of those days where you actually got good answers to that question, however. And I, along the way, encountered a woman from Oklahoma named Eugenia Pete. Eugenia Pete was standing a few feet from me during the oath of office, and she was wearing kind of a leopard print hat and gloves and, you know, looking warm. And um, at one point, uh, I looked over to her during the oath, and she fell to her knees and began sobbing. My cameraman and I looked at each other and went, So I went over to her, tapped her on the shoulder, and asked her the fabulous question, how do you feel? And she smiled, and she said, Well, I've been crying all day. And I said, well, you're still crying. And she said, yes, I am. First, I started crying because I was cold. And then I began to cry, and she stopped, and she put her hand on her chest, and she said, I began to cry because I have a little son. And my little son no longer has to be just a rapper or an athlete. He can be all of these things. The, 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 the ceiling is off. The sky is the limit. By the time she was done speaking and we put that on the air that night, it ran for 55 seconds. If I'd been working for NBC News, that would have run for maybe eight seconds tops. This woman's voice wouldn't have been heard, someone you would have never heard from. No one ever knocks on her door, no one ever asks her how she feels. And yet she managed to capture the words and the feeling of a million people on the mall that day. And I had a chance to have her tell her entire story, which is why I work for public broadcasting. I got to tell the whole story.